What do you think as far as what we need for a comprehensive regulation of financial derivatives? I think one of the uh, great gaps in our regulatory system right now is this market for risk management contracts, which are called derivatives. Uh, we do cover those derivatives that are traded on exchanges, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission has done that for decades. Those are called futures, but the others are not covered. And I think that we have to both cover the dealers, the large banks that, that trade these instruments, and we have to uh, cover the markets. And the goal in all of this is to lower risk and to increase transparency. The dealers in this community have to have the capital uh, to back these transactions. That, that was one of the great lessons of this insurance company, uh, ineffectively regulated AIG, that nobody had heard about. And $180 billion of our money, your money, our money, your viewers' money is in that company right now uh, because we didn't have those regulations. Well, these markets are quite large uh, overall around the globe. They're, they're measured in a notional amount that the total risk being managed is uh, equivalent to close to $600 trillion. Here in the United States, the uh, aggregate numbers are close to 15 times our economy, if you wanted to give it a sense of the scale. Looking back 10 years later, uh, there's so much that we've learned in that period of time over the 10 years. Uh, should have done more to best protect the American public. But the, the, the strong, the strong uh, benefit of regulated market economy is something that I've believed in for a long time. When you say you should have done more, what specifically do you, looking back, wish you would have done? Well, after the collapse of long-term capital management, which was a, a, a managed hedge fund out of Connecticut that failed in 1998, I think, uh, the President's Working Group made proposals to Congress. And in fact, one of the proposals was to bring oversight to the derivative dealers who were affiliated with uh, the big investment banks. Um, we didn't achieve that goal. Why do you think it wasn't achieved? One, we should have pounded the table harder. Uh, two, I think uh, we didn't have the lessons the last 10 years, and whether it was Democrat or Republican. What does the proposal not do right? Well, the, uh, the proposal is very strong. Um, uh, what it's so hard to do is anticipate the future. And that's part of why we want to cover the whole marketplace. It's a very strong package. The market would be uh, uh, fully covered. We just want to make sure that it, we tighten it up a little. We want to make sure that all the corporations and the end users, when they post margin, that that margin is protected if the Wall Street firm goes bankrupt. And one of the challenges last year when, when the, the uh, tragedy of firms failing occurred is sometimes that money wasn't protected, particularly internationally. So that's called segregation and bankruptcy. It's, it's technical, but it's very important to protect the system, and that's something we want to enhance. Is there political will out there to actually dig deep and to do what you're calling for to add this transparency? On Capitol Hill, we're working on this, uh, but no doubt there'll be debate. There'll be pushback from uh, the financial community because we're, we're looking to regulate them. Where do you think specifically we remain the most at risk? We have not pulled uh, reform together with Congress. So the financial system appears to be more stabilized. But I'll note, it's highly concentrated. It's more concentrated than it was even a year ago. And like other industries that get concentrated, we have, you see fewer airlines and fewer auto companies and fewer drug companies. You have fewer of these things called large banks or financial institutions. And so I think that we stay particularly vulnerable because we haven't filled the gaps, uh, but we're also more vulnerable because it's more concentrated. At 580 people, we have the same size that we were 10 years ago, and believe it or not, 35 years ago. And in the last 10 years, the markets have grown fivefold. The, uh, they've gone from these open pits to electronic trading. 
we don't have enough people to oversee the 200,000 transactions that happen every day in this marketplace. And uh, we just lived through a great crisis. We, we've got to get this job done.